pub. I've got to get up and go to work. I've got to go to work, my pumpkin. Oh, I've got to go to work. Yeah. Oh, see you later. <laughs> uh, come on, a bit more than that, a bit more than that. I've got a bit around the edge of the bottle. That's all right. looking bit of spinach is it um, trying to make a cool video uh. <laughs> yes don't say anything Good morning. Oh, well, thought I'd try that. Inspired by Joe and Vic, really. I mean, they do such a good job with their editing. And uh, I'm at the workshop. So here's my view. And it's quiet today, which is great. Early morning. And uh, and that's my workshop there. So very easy to spot once you, once you know where I am. And... Um, yeah, it's nice and cool. Makes a change. It's nice and cool. Lots to do today. And uh, and all I've done so far is press the pause button. So it's just pause, pause, pause. And um, it seems... Wow, well, I hope it works. It saved me a lot of bother if it does. So that's the entrance door through the cafe. Back of the cafe where everybody comes. No, they don't. I don't realise I'm here. Uh, and here we go. And you know something? There's something lovely about coming in to a workshop in the morning and switching the lights on and having a look around. And it's just like that. The start of a day. The, uh, the things we get up to during the day and the things you do. And, Little routine, hang the keys up. I have to hang the keys up. Switch the light on, which helps. There I am, morning. Uh, beard's been shortened. Turn the tap on. Right. Let's get on with this thing, shall we? There she is, more to do. Right, so, layout. Time to lay these things out. So what I've done is I'm just covering this timber as well. I thought it'd be a good idea to just cover the timber. I'm lining up the knuckle of the center of the knuckle of the hinge is in line with the gap. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I did here because I've I've done that one just to see what's going on. These things are so tiny, it's unreal. I mean they're not even a quarter of an inch long. So let me put you in the stand and then we'll I'll start going through it. Right, so let's discuss what's going on here. These are the two original hinges off the plate holder that I'm pulling apart. This is off another piece and I've kept all of these hinges. Um, come on. I've kept all of these hinge screws with the correct hinges because they are so tiny. These things are measuring about about four mil across, just under four mil across. So, yeah, it's it's good fun, right? Process. So let me tell you what I'm doing. I'll show you. I'm 
I'm going to set this up so that and I'll tighten that sorry and I'll tighten that up so I know that that hinge is that far from the end put it on there set that one in place there you go that's where that hinge is going now I made a mistake with this one and I don't mind telling you I made a mistake I set it all out and I set it all up and what I'd not allowed for was the fact that the hinge was very slightly between the pin on the knuckle and the end here with a very slight curve so and this one's got the same so let me show you exactly what I mean right so just there see in the middle see the way the knuckle isn't against the piece of MDF well I need to flatten this first and this is the first first thing to do to any hinge that you're going to set in is make sure you've got a great bit of work a, a great piece to work on so I'm just going to flatten this off and then we'll come back and then I thought you might want to um, and then I thought you might want to see how I'm doing it to get it flat so all I'm doing is I'm turning it over like that and I'm just gently tapping all around here turn that round because that it's curving from that point there all the way down to the bottom so I'm going to tap it all the way there you go that's much better it's still a little bit you know what it's still enough out I'm going to do it a bit more From my experience, it's usually where the where the screws have been driven in, and that's where it's curving. The centre of the curve, if it is, is where the screws have been driven in. That's pretty good now, so I'm happy with that. So let's get back to it. Can you see? You can't see very well, can you? There you go. Right, so let's put this back on there. So I'm taking a blade. You could use a Stanley knife, a marking knife, whatever. I'm just taking a blade and putting that on there. Can you see all right over there? Is that better? Holding the blade there. Going to push the hinge against that. And that's going to start the ball rolling. Now, notice there are pieces of paper all the way around this door in the aperture to make sure the door is exactly where I want it. I've even got, and you can't see it's just out of shot, but I've even got a blade st sitting in the, in the gap just to make sure it just stays there, just to keep an eye on it, just so that if there is any excess, uh, I, I just want it paper thickness down here and there. And if one of those pieces of paper isn't quite enough, there's a little bit of pressure from that blade. Right. That goes there. I'm going to now just mark the other side. So I've got a mark on there. And the next thing to do is just to put a straight line across those, like so. Then I can look down on the pin see I'm in the right place this is a Japanese or AWL I find it so good it's so sharp it's so good it's worth investing in I'm now just going to center dot each of the screw holes and you've got to be patient Make sure you're in the centre, it makes a lot of difference. I had to rescue, I had to rescue the other hinge earlier because it was bent once I'd straightened it out, all of those holes opened out and they're in a slightly different position. So, rookie mistake, but hey ho. Right, there we go. I'm going to show you what that looks like because I want you to see. There you go, that's what I'm looking for.
I just want to show you this now. So if we look at this drill bit and we look at the shank of the screw, what I call the shank is the part between the head and the thread. The really, I mean, it's very short. This is about two and a half millimeters, but this isn't even three millimeters. So I'm drilling with this drill bit only a couple of mil deep down to about there and then the point of this awl will make the rest of the hole in there for me. And the good thing about making the the good thing about making the letting the oil do the work is you're squeezing all the fibers to, to open up the hole and then you're putting the screw in and those fibers over time will just come back and grip the end of the screw. So it doesn't necessarily have to be put in, tightened up super tight because those fibers will then grip. Right, let's get you back in there. A bit carried away, sorry. Um, right, so just drilling out. So the holes are very, very shallow. So let's just now go down a bit further. Let's get these into place. Now, this screwdriver I'm using is a little bit dinky. It's a little bit small, so I have to be uh, I have to be very careful with it. It's got a tiny end on it, so I have to make sure the um, that I'm 100% happy with it. So you're probably thinking, well, he hasn't let those hinges in yet, um, and the idea is that what we're doing is we are screwing the hinges in place. I'll get the rest of these screws in now. Screw the hinges in place, then mark all the way around with a knife, and then we're gonna to chisel to those knife lines. So I'll carry on with this, and carry on fixing these down. And you guys, well, you can go and put a cup of tea on, can't you? See you in a minute. Right, that one's done. I'm just going to drill. Just going to drill this one. So I've set up the middle hinge. Now I'm a little bit concerned about this hinge. I'd love three hinges exactly the same, and all I've got is is these two. Um, and this one is a slightly different hinge, so it's a different gauge. Oh, it's it's not. It's as close as I can find. And that's one of the reasons why I've gone for, can you see, if I come to there, that's one of the reasons I've gone for three hinges, because that one's quite different. There's enough distance between the, the pins and knuckles of these hinges that if that one takes a different, slightly different path, if the door, if it moves the door a little bit, it's not going to be that much over there. If I had to put one of these here, and another one there that have been more strain on the door. So that's the reason why I've gone with one in the middle there. So that's worth doing. Um, drilled that out. Yes, I found the centre between there, which was 14 and a quarter inches. 14 and a quarter inches. I've gone seven and a half to this pencil line here. I've then gone half a hinge out, given myself a straight edge. And now those little tiny screws. And these, these are even smaller than the ones in these two in, in these two hinges. So these are really tiny. Um, done that one. Done that one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite. It's almost a shame. That I, well, it is a shame. I can't get the right sort of hinges. I'm having to steal off other things. Um, there's a pencil line there, which I'm just going to. Mind you, it doesn't matter, it's all coming out later. 
Well, notice I put the hinge in exactly the same position it's going in. I haven't turned this round, I haven't rotated it. It's in exactly the same position so that I know that I've got no problem. And this really is, this really is tiny stuff. And that's why I'm sort of turning you guys off for a minute because holding this screwdriver isn't easy. Um, finding the slot in the screw isn't easy. And it's all, it feels very clumsy because I've got these big things putting in these tiny little screws. I mean, there you go, that's, that's what I'm having to do. So uh, I apologize if it's a bit boring or if you can't see enough. If I'd got a cameraman, maybe in the future, we'll see. Um, that would make it easy because that'd be, I, then I would give you um, the view from my my eye, what I'm seeing, and that would make it so much better. Right, so I'll screw that down a minute. Right, so what I'm doing now is uh, let, let you see what's going on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you can zoom in a bit, and I'm going to mark around around this hinge. So, all I'm doing is that, going around here. And I'm going in at an angle. Um, you'll see it on this one, you can see the angle. There's about, I don't know what the bevel is on the side of the blade, but I'm, I'm going over that angle of bevel as well to make sure that the, the, um, the knife edge is really tight in the bottom of these hinges. Just gonna, sorry, just gonna do that. So I'll mark this one up and that one and the middle one, uh, and then we'll come back in a sec. See you in a minute. So those are screwed up and then I thought, well, oh, I'm gonna screw this on in a bit. That's the little leather tab off the other one. And then I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to uh, see it open and make sure it's open and working okay? So here we go for the first time. Oh, it's catching a little. There you go. If you listen, it's just, just catching down this edge. That's all right. That's all right. But there you go. And I suppose the really interesting thing would be to put it in the body just down there and make sure that's working. So, should we do that? Okay, give me a minute. Right, well, moment of truth. Um, while you've been gone, I've just um, fixed the handle tab there. So I've got that on. So now, anyhow, we can drop it into place. Like, and I've not tried it, so I'm hoping it's, well, there you go. Dust everywhere. That's all right. That's all right. By the time I've got the... Now that could be... It's seriously hinge bound now. Um, that's about four mil. It could be because of the way the hinge is sitting. Well, it must be because the door is sitting fine before. So, nothing coming through. No issues down here. I'll keep an eye on that. I mean, it's got the turn button, so I shouldn't really worry about it. But anyhow, look, there it is. It's a, it's the door on the back. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So let's get on with fitting those. Let's get on with fitting those hinges properly. Before I've um, taken these off, I thought I'd just show you. I've marked all around them. I thought I'd make you aware that these... Are marked up so they go back in the same position worth noting at the moment is is that the door is sitting pretty good there's a little bit of watch that you go there I'll drop the other end down and you watch see 
So it is going on a bit, but there's not much in it. So it's, it's, you can see it's bothering me. Uh, it'll be alright, we'll sort it. Right. So here I am back again, and I've just put the chisel in there to start taking out. For this very thin hinge, um, marked up, let me just get it here, so it's very thin hinge. Um, I'm just going to drop this in the, in the line made by the Stanley blade. I'm just going to take a bit out of there and then go to the Stanley blade line and just go over slightly. Very thin. I don't know what I've got to allow for. Um, let's undo that. Let's tell you how thick this is. Uh, three quarters of a mil. Three quarters of a millimeter. Well, that's great. That's not. Um, that's not too bad, I suppose. I think what I will do is just remove some of this and then set the router up. To take off, um, to get the depth right. I mean, the old manufacturers, they would have, they would have had tools set up. So they just move on to the next stage and the next tool is set up and because all they would have done really is instruments like the camera. So um, like this camera and other cameras would have been the same sort of settings. And if they made something different for a bigger setting, then they'd put that tool on one side that only did that. And then the next time it would pay for itself. So here we go. This is, um, let's just see what that's like. Now I've put the tape on the outside. So that's the side that's going in there. Um, no, I've only taken about half out. So just patiently, I like to grip the chisel like this um, and then hold the handle and, and lever it around. And I find this shearing type cut very useful, very handy. Um, less likely to slip. I'm just going to turn that the other way up and just break out the top of there because it's gone a bit thicker now and it doesn't want to. So I'm still keeping away from the line. I'm about two millimeters away from the line in front. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come this way and chisel down until the chisel hits that lower surface. Not bad, not bad. Go in the good grain direction. It was a good guess to go the right way sometimes it would I might have gone the other way so this is looking pretty good and this is how long it's going to take so this is a real time where are we 14 minutes on this one up to the corner done it come around here take the excess out Um, good that end, not this. What's going on? Oh, right, okay. You know when I beveled over? A bit too much. I'm just going to go in there. From the top of there. Just down and in. Just to give me... It feels like it's rounded in the top. It feels like it's a it's, um, little bit of a lump in the middle. 
That's better. That's better. There you go. You know what I'm going to do? Do you remember about it being bent? Well, I might have had somebody like me just Let's put a piece of wood on there. Do you want to see? Sorry about that. Come on. Come on. There you go. So that's how well it fits. I'm, um, I'm okay with that. It's good. The holes will work. It's only going in half a mil more, so those holes will be great. And that now is pretty flush. It's not stopping. It's not stopping that piece of wood from sliding over. And it's not too low. So there you go. That's what I've got to do. I've got to do that there, and I've got to do it there. And I think then, where are you? And I think then I'll get back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get this sorted today. So I thought I'd show you where I'm up to. So I've done all three now. And they're, they're pretty flush. I'm pleased with that. There's a little corner sticking out of there, but that's no worries. I'll just tap that down with a hammer. That should, um, that should make it fall out. <laughs> yeah, I might just take a little bit more off. I, I said I might use the router, but I haven't. I've not used the router. I've just used the chisel. It's almost not worth setting up for. It's that shallow, um, and it's quite easy to cut out. So, right, next bit, door. So there she is waiting for me. Well, I've done, I've done the one that end, and I've done just fitted the middle one, and I thought I would show you in real time um, me cutting one out. Um, and I thought I'd zoom in, and I think I'll end the video when this is done, so you can see what's going on. Um, the other one was pretty good, uh, which is over there, sorry. Right, okay, so I've got two chisels, I've, I don't know what I've got, three quarter and a half inch, I think, or five eighths and a half inch. So what I'm, let me just push that there. What I'm doing for, is first, is I, I'm just marking the, I'm, putting the chisel in the knife line and um, I'm going over the 90 degrees so I've got a bit of an undercut. What I don't want to do is I don't want to go straight down and damage this edge and push it this way. So let me show you what straight is or square is. Square is there uh, like that and I'm doing an undercut like that and you think well why? Well, it actually helps because the fibres on the end of here, when I put the when I put the the hinge back in, those can lay flat. Um, you'll see, you'll see. That's the way I do it. So, just in there, pull it over. Only about five degrees on this way. I've got to be careful of the grain on this one because this is the one that could split. So. There you go, not much. Don't forget, I'm only going down. Um, three quarters of a mil, 0.7. So I'm going to come in here first. So using the shearing, oh, I'm going to have to put a block there. Hang on. There you go. Right, so again, using that sort of shearing cut, I can come in here and I can loosen all these fibers. And I can go straight across there. And I'm probably down, probably down there already. Not far off. I bet I'm not far off. Now I'm going to go down here. 
I don't know which way the grain's going to go, me, so I'm going with some caution. Uh, looks like I'm going with the grain, so that's not bad. So I can come back and get a bit more. Let me just, and it isn't very often. I, on the other hinges, I didn't tap, but uh, I'm just going to tap down here. I sometimes use the palm of my hand, which isn't good, is it? Let's just chop this way and down. So again, thinking, I'm going all, all, all in my mind. I'm thinking. Well, I'm only going down 0.7 of a mil. Um, so that's that done. Now I'm going to come in this way. Can you still see? Yeah, you can. Sorry. I can't see if you can see. That bit can go. Again, going down to that. So I'm trying to create the corners, the internal corners. Um, I could get a knife like that and I could just go down there like that if I wanted that would release some of these fibers there you go or you could put the, the chisel back in and just push down to release the fibers and we're so I can just come over here to get that in so how we're we doing oh not bad more to go okay so now I'm going to start taking the middle section out this middle section of land so that the um, so that the hinge can sit a bit lower so I'm going to come in there on that corner and I'm just going to pull it round So yes, you could get a router out, you could get the hand router out, spend a bit of money on it, do that. You could also get to hone your skills with your chisels. That's um, still proud, nearly there, still proud, still proud around here. So I'm going to come in a bit deeper and see where the shavings are coming from. It's mainly out of this side. Always trying to keep the chisel to work on one plane and controlling that plane. Go around the outside, make sure the fibres are free to for the waste to fall away. Oops. We want that waste to just fall away and then this side's the tricky side because it's with the grain still need to get that cool that's better that's what I was after that little tiny bit there it all feels pretty good it's a bit lumpy this end but I'll um I'll have a look in a sec Well, that's I'm pleased with that. That's great. That's great. Um, so this edge is good. This edge feels great. This side's still proud. I wonder why sometimes, but I'm just going to put it there and just push it flat and see what comes out the way. Okay, it looks like it's mainly in that corner still. So let's take that corner down one more time. Let's work our way up towards where the knuckle would be, just here. Let's try and sort that out. Why is he swapped chisels? Just wanted a smaller one for a minute. And this one is a tad sharper, he thinks. How are we doing? A 
There you go, real time. It's a little bit proud there. Just give it a... There you go, that's it. Now this video is going to end up being so long. Right, that's it. Hinges are all set in. I uh, might change a couple of the screws. I don't really want to keep taking this apart and putting it back together. Anyhow, it's back on there and uh, the obvious thing is this corner. So I've still got things to look at, but hey-ho. So what I haven't done is opened it. There you go. What I hadn't done was opened it to see if there was any... Um, If there was, I, I worry too much about with the, scent, the positions of these pins, that's all. Um, if it is going to flex the door, it's not going to flex it much. But I've proved it works, it opens, it shuts pretty good. Four thousandths of an inch all the way flipping around, that's uh, some good. But that, that's disappointing. You know how much effort I've put into this to try and make it work. So um, all I can think is that the hinges are just... Maybe just have bent them a little bit too much or not enough. Um, but you know me, I'll sort that. But that's it. That's it for now. That's it for this video. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm glad I've been able to show you some of the fitting of the hinges and how I mark them up and, and whatever. Um, and I hope you enjoyed Poe. So if you've stayed till the very end, great. Um, yeah, nice bit of messing at the beginning, which felt quite nice to do this morning. Meant it, meant it felt that I was not starting a video as soon as I got here it felt like it was a bit more of what my day is like it's now half past four uh, I've had a few visitors I've had a few uh, students in and a couple of jobs dropped off so um, I'll catch you very soon please subscribe keep watching stay with me uh, it won't always be the camera this thing will be hopefully this thing will be done soon and then we can uh, get on with some interesting stuff cheers